Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can install Docker in Ubuntu server manually from a package. If you like this kind of video, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you. Let's begin. So first, let's go to Docker documentation. It's in docs.docker.com. Click on the second tab, Manuals, and then click Docker Engine. Click Install Docker Engine. And we need to select the correct platform. In our case, we're using Ubuntu. Click on that. And then this is the guide on how you can install Docker Engine on Ubuntu server. So let's just scroll down and let's check the uninstall old version. So just to make sure that there is no conflicting packages on our server, let's uh, run this command. Let's copy, paste it here. Yep, okay, it's done. And then let's scroll down to the installation method. Um, I already showed you on how you can install the Docker on Ubuntu server using the APT repository. You can check my other video on that. But in this case, I'm going to show you on how you can install it manually. So let's click on this one. So if you cannot use Docker's APT repository to install the Docker engine for some reason, then feel free to use this method. So let's check the, the step one. So just click on this. And according to the documentation, select your Ubuntu version in the list, which is Jami. And then go to pool, stable, pool, and then stable. And then in our case, I'm going to select AMD64. The first one and let's download the debian software packages so first let's uh, check the container d that io so let's check from the list so this is the latest um, version of the container d let's copy that one uh, let's copy first this link then let's do sudo w get command and then let's paste the link from here and then let's copy the file name of the container d package hit enter let's wait to download it okay good now let's go back to the documentation let's download the docker dash ce underscore and then the version docker dash c and let's look for that docker dash de underscore so this is let's download the latest which is the docker c this one second oh no the last one so let's scroll up and then just delete the old the previous package and then paste the docker c package and then hit enter it's downloading and it's completed. Now let's go back to the documentation. Then let's download the Docker CE-CLI. Let's check the file, Docker CE-CLI. And let's choose the latest one. Let's copy this. Let's do arrow up and then delete the previous package and then paste it here. Hit enter. It's downloading. It's done. Let's go back to the documentation. Let's look for the Docker build X plugin. Docker build X plugin. Yep, let's choose the latest. Press the arrow up key and then paste it here. Hit enter. Then let's go back to the documentation and let's look for the compose plugin. Docker compose plugin. Docker compose plugin. So let's download the uh, latest package for Docker compose plugin. Press arrow up on your keyboard and then paste it here and it will download the latest package so let's do a list as you can see we already downloaded the uh, necessary packages 
from the docker.com website. Now, let's go back to the documentation and we can now start installing the packages. So let's do this. sudo dpackage minus i install. Let's type container d and then backslash enter and then docker build x backslash docker ce underscore backslash docker ce cli backslash and then the docker compose and then hit enter this is equivalent to just one long command it's now starting to unpack and it will install the package for the docker Let's wait for a few minutes here. Now it's completed. Let's go back to the documentation. And it says here the Docker daemon starts automatically. And let's verify if the Docker engine has been successfully installed. So let's start the Docker first. And then let's check if we could successfully run the sample Hello World container and it will download the Hello World image from the Docker Hub. It's now pulling the image from the Docker Hub. We successfully run the sample Hello World container. Let's try something, and let's try the Ubuntu container with this command. So let's try sudo docker run minus d. Let's add d as detach and then IT as interactive, and then Ubuntu. Uh, let's name it as dash dash name, Belray's toolkit container. And we can also add the host name of the container, host name, and then Belray's toolkit, and then Ubuntu. It will download the latest Ubuntu container image. Let's wait for that. It's pulling the image from the Docker Hub. Now it seems successful. Let's do verification. sudo docker container ls. As you can see, the uh, container name Belray's Toolkit dash container is now running. The status is up, as you can see. And then let's go inside the Ubuntu container. sudo docker container ls. Oh, no, exec minus it bell raise toki dash container and then the bash. So we are now inside a container. As you can see, the host name has changed to the host name we specified when running the container, which is bell raise toki. So let's check the version of it. CAD ETC release. It's using the latest image from Ubuntu. Let's exit out. That's all for now. Thank you so much. <laughs>